Now, ahead of the counting, our reporter Andrea Chisholm is at the Jamaica Labour Party headquarters on Belmont Road in St. Andrew. Andrea, what's happening there now? Thank you very much, Herman. Well, we are here at the JLP headquarters on Belmont Road in St. Andrew, where JLP leader Andrew Holness is expected to give either a victory or a concession speak as the EOJ declares the winner in this, the September 3 general election. As you can see behind me, a number of police personnel are gathered here. They received instructions earlier, and no doubt they'll be keeping tabs on things here at the JLP headquarters as we await the results. I'm now joined by the JLP spokesperson, Mrs. Kamina Johnson-Smith. Good evening, ma'am. Good evening, Andrea. The Prime Minister indicated earlier that he expects to win, the JLP expects to win at least 35 seats. The polls have closed. What's your analysis? Well, we feel quite con confident that the results will be in our favour. Uh, we understand that the voter turnout has been low overall across the island. But what we certainly know is that the labour rights have been out. The, the energy has been high and our voters have been out. So we presume that it's the other side that has been flat. Any major problems for today? We have had issues. We have had issues with the electronic voting. We understand uh, in Central Kingston and West Central in the Prime Minister's constituency and the constituency in which Donovan Williams is uh, taking on Imani Duncan Price, that in those two constituencies in particular, there was very slow voting with the electronic and they actually had to switch back to manual because the systems were giving trouble. We know that there were issues with the EOJ website. The query, uh, query function on the site was not working at all. And that caused uh, quite a lot of difficulties for many people who had changed PDs during the, um, after the last verification process. So we had a lot of calls. I had to bring on more people. Uh, all, thankfully, so many people who had been volunteering and planning to, we were able to call them quickly and uh, field calls to direct people where to vote. And up to literally up to five minutes before five, people were calling to find out where could they vote. So we know energy was high, but we know that there were some deficiencies. And uh, very quickly, Mrs. Johnson-Smith, yes. traditionally, JLP supporters would converge here yes. at Belmont Road. Yes. But there's COVID-19, so yes. what's the plan for tonight? From last night, we sent a message out to MPs, all candidates, to tell their supporters that they are to vote and go home. They are not to encourage gathering uh, because of COVID and that there would be no gathering at Belmont Road tonight. There will be a virtual meeting, a virtual press release, a virtual press conference, and we will celebrate when we can celebrate together again. The, the point has been reiterated again uh, by another internal WhatsApp to all candidates early in the morning, and we sent out a press release this afternoon under the name of the campaign chairperson, Babsy Grange, to again advise persons that the PM says that we have to all lead by example. It is important, therefore, that persons go home, watch online, watch on the PM's page, watch on all our social media, watch TVJ even. <laughs> but, uh, but don't converge on Belmont Road. Uh, this is why you see security forces here and there is limited access because we, we know that everyone wants to celebrate and we know that we love that. Uh, uh, I mean, each and every one of us feels that we want to celebrate in the way we always did. But we have to reiterate the message. We have to set a good example and we have to take care of each other. All right. Thank you very much, Kamina Johnson-Smith, the JLP spokesperson here at Belmont Road at the JLP headquarters. It's back to you in studio.